Hello there. Welcome to my another video. If you are preparing for the PL300 exam, aka um, Power BI Data Analysis Associate exam uh, provided by Microsoft, and uh, you won't be certified data analyst uh, by using the Power BI, one of the topics that you need to um, take into consideration is the data modeling. So, as you know, there are different parts of, of the exam, there are different kinds of questions, and one of them is, I would say also, one of the most frequently questions during the exam is about the, um, what kind of a data models do you do now, schemas, right? So, the, there are several kinds of schemas, but two of them are mostly uh, talked about. One is the simplest one. The simplest one is uh, called the star schema. In the star schema you have in the middle, in the middle you have the uh, fact table, which can be the sales or transactions and so on. And then you have the dimension tables. Dimension tables might be the country of the sales, I don't know, or, 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 or the time, or um, whatever thing that comes to your mind that would be redundant in uh, if you would use it in the main fact um, the transactional uh, tape. So say it so, this is the first part. This is a schema that the, 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 you might have, you might have uh, uh, a question during the exam that uh, which it, it, does it describe the star schema or what kind of a schema does it describe? If you see this kind of a structure the, in, the, in the middle, the transactional table, the main table, and then there are other star described, like it looks like a star, that's why it's called the star schema. And the other, ta other tables that are connected to the middle table, this means the star and schema. There is also the snowflake schema. There's also um, the product of the Amazon is called the Snowflake too. So that's why if you're going to look look for that, just don't confuse. <laughs> uh, they, there is the trademark called Snowflake now. It represents, the Snowflake represents the, again, you have the main table on the middle. Then you have the, the dimension tables. Then you have the sub tables that are connected to the dimension tables. So it kind of represents visually the Snowflake. That's what they call the Snowflake. Uh, so to wrap up, we got two tables, two um, schemas: the star schema and the snowflake schema. So um, you might be asked, what kind of a schema is this? And you might be asked to describe the uh, star schema or something, some question related to that. So make sure that you see both of them and you know how to distinguish between them and how to describe these two.